Today, I'm going to show you guys how to get custom Twitch graphics, overlays, YouTube graphics, logos, logo animations, anything like that without opening or even owning a single program. Let's get into it. Hey guys, what's up? It's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. As I record this, it is the 4th of July, so if you guys are in the US and are celebrating, hope you guys have a fantastic day and stay safe. But, like I said in the intro, we are going to be creating all kinds of stuff. Twitch graphics and overlays, YouTube graphics, logos, logo animations, anything you want completely without opening or owning a single program. Now this might sound impossible, but it is true. One of the most commented things on my videos is people saying, what do I do if I don't own After Effects? What can I do? And normally I try to provide pre-exported versions of all of my graphics down in the description that you can just download the graphic and throw it into OBS, but those aren't necessarily customized and you can't really make too many changes to them. And that is where Placeit.net comes in. This video is brought to you by Placeit.net. I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly how you can jump jump into their website and create awesome Twitch graphics, Twitch overlays, YouTube graphics, logos, all kinds of stuff without owning a single program entirely inside of their website. So without further ado, let's jump right into placeit.net and see what we can do. All right, guys, and here we are at placeit.net. And as you can see, there's a lot going on that you can do on this website. And we're gonna go up here and we're gonna click on the gaming tab and you'll already see what you can be greeted with and what you can create. If you guys would like to see this website and create something for yourself and see what it's all about, there's a link down in the description. Highly recommend you go down there, click on that link and uh, get yourself some overlays and graphics. But let's go ahead and create some stuff real quick. Let's go up here and take a look. Look, we got logos, animated logos, video intros, Twitch banners, Twitch offline banners, Twitch overlays, Twitch panels, OBS, stream overlays, stream starting soon screens, YouTube banners, YouTube thumbnails, end cards, all kinds of stuff. But let's go ahead and jump into the Twitch overlays. I think that'd be a really cool one to get into. And you'll see we're greeted with a ton of these smart templates. And I'll show you guys exactly what a smart template is as soon as we find one we like. I like this one here. This one's looking kind of simple. So we'll go ahead and jump in and take a look at what this is. So when you click on one, you're brought into the Placid editor. And this is incredible. This blew my mind without any kind of programs directly inside the web website, you can change everything. You can scale this up, you can delete things, you can move them, you can change the text, you can change the font, you can change the colors, you can reset the layout if you screwed everything up. So over here, you see you got your text and it says starting soon. Maybe we want this to be our ending screen. So boom, look at that stream ending already created. You got your handles here for your graphics or for your uh, social media. We can change those to be your, your handles. So wow, I cannot type today. Bravity in there. We can go over here, Bravity M there, boom. You've got everything. You can add another text. You can upload logos and put it wherever you want. Then you can even come over here. You can change your social media graphics if you don't want it to be Instagram, if you want it to be somewhere else or something else, you can change that. You can change your background color. Let's say we want the background to be like a light gray like that. Let's say we want this to be more of a blue and not a green. Now I don't like the color of the text here. So let's say we want the text here to be a light blue, just like that. And then we want the ending to be like, a a purple boom we've completely changed the overlay that we started with it started with something green and black and dark and it said stream starting soon and now we've got a custom stream ending screen and obviously these colors are a little strange because i rushed through it but as you can see you can change anything and it doesn't stop with static overlays like this. If we head up here where we went to gaming and just go to videos instead, you'll see we've got Twitch screens down here. So videos and Twitch screens, this is where my mind really got blown. As you can see, these are animated Twitch screens that you can change inside of their editor. So like this one right here looks pretty cool. Stream ended. So let's say we don't want it to be stream ended. We want it to be stream starting soon. So let's go ahead and go jump over here right where we changed the text the last time and change this to starting. Just like that. You see it's loading a preview, but we can go ahead and ignore that. Let's say we don't like the uh, red. We want it to be like a green, a green thing going on. Uh, you can change these line colors and the drop shadows and whatnot. We'll leave these for now. As you guys can see, you can change the audio track that comes with it. You can change the background photo. We've got kind of this baseball player in the back that doesn't really fit for Twitch, I don't think. So let's go ahead and jump down here and change it to, hmm, 
this is, looks pretty cool and just bland, not really bland, but just like, not like a person, but uh, you can even upload your own photo here if you wanted to, but we're gonna go ahead and click that, and as you can see, it updates here, and this is just a preview, this is just a photo, so you can make changes really quickly, but if we go ahead and cancel out of here and hit update slide, it will update the video version of what you just changed, so we're gonna be able to see the animations with the color changes, with the stream starting text changes, everything, the background, it is incredible, and I promise you, it is blowing my mind still to this day every time I jump in here to create something. So let's go ahead and wait for this to process and then see what the animation looks like. And there we go, our slide was successfully processed and boom, look at that. It is animated already with what we changed. It used to say stream ending, it used to be red, it's now stream starting and green. You change, we changed the background. You can change this drop shadow behind it. You see that you got the drop shadow. You can change the color of these lines at the beginning. You see the line one and line two are uh, black and white, just like that. So let's go ahead and change those real quick. Let's change line two to be like a lighter green like that. And then let's change this one to be like a dark gray. There we go. And now it's gonna load our preview real quick. Once the preview is done loading, you see we've got our lines here, it's showing us. Let's go ahead and cancel that and let's update the slide one more time and then take a look at what it looks like after it's done. And there we go, your slide was successfully processed and boom, did you guys see that already? We've got the colored lines there that we just changed at the beginning, completely customizable and it's blowing my mind still to this day. So let's go back to Twitch screens and we can change some other stuff. What else do we wanna change here? Hmm, <laughs> let's try this one here. This one looks pretty cool. And as you can see, it's very pink and whatnot, but let's say we want it to look a lot cooler with, uh, hmm, what do we wanna do? Let's do an orange one. Orange and dark red, just like that. Um, subscribe to our channel, stream starting soon. Let's just say, stream starting soon. Are you ready? Let's make it say, are you ready? Just like that. Beautiful. And now let's go ahead and load the preview, see what this is going to look like. That looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and change the font on this one, actually, to something else. Let's see. That's a pretty cool font, so let's go ahead and do that on both of them. Change the font, so you can change everything. You can even change the playback speed over here, but that looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and I just said ghoul. That looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and hit the cancel on the preview there and update the slide. Once again, we'll wait for this to process and we'll see what we have changed. And here we go, it is successfully processed, and let's go ahead and play it, and look at that animation stream starting soon, and then it animates out, are you ready? With the animation, with our color changes going on in the background, you can have that looping on your stream if you want, with some music playing, you can even download it with music and a different audio track over here, or you can put your own music over the top of it, you can do whatever you want, because you can download this without a watermark, and it is your custom overlay that you created with no program. So as you can see down here, we can add some slides you can add more stuff to this so everything plays just kind of back to back but what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and hit play all and this is going to do a final process so that we can actually download it and buy our overlay but once it finishes processing we'll take a look and there we go our final process is done and there we go we've got the video processed and playing for us right here and as you can see down here this completely custom colors changed font changed text changed you can throw your logos in change the audio everything you can download this right now for 9.95 Compare that to what you would pay for somebody to custom make you something, to commission something to be made for you. This is incredibly easy to get started with custom overlays on your stream or Instead of doing the $9.95, it is free using a subscription. So if we jump out of here and hit the pricing up here, as you guys can see, you can get a subscription to Placeit.net for $14.95 for one month or $89.69 for the entire year. And that is downloads for days. You can redo your entire stream. You can redo your entire YouTube channel, which is downloads after download after download. Change it, customize it, do whatever you want. And then each download is free with your subscription. And that's what I'm gonna do. I've got a subscription. I'm just gonna jump in here and download what I created and I can throw it into my Twitch stream right now if I wanted to. But if you guys are interested in place it, downloading one thing for your Twitch stream because you saw something that looks awesome, or if you wanna get yourself a subscription and redo and rebrand your entire YouTube channel and Twitch stream, 
with placeit.net. There's a link down in the description. You can click on it and you can head on over there and get started. It is so much fun to be able to update anything you want, your fonts, your colors, type anything you want, add your logos without being in After Effects, without any Adobe programs, Photoshop, nothing. It is completely inside of placeit.net. But I hope you guys found this exciting. And thank you so much to Placeit for sponsoring this video and reaching out and showing me this incredible resource that people can use to have awesome Twitch graphics and amazing looking streams and YouTube videos. That's what I'm all about. That's why I want to give you guys free stuff is just so that your streams and your YouTube channel can look as best as possible with little to no money and place it is doing the exact same thing. So I hope you guys give them a chance and jump down there in the link and get started rebranding your entire stream and YouTube. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.